What is up everyone, my name is Jasper and in this video we're going to be taking a look at just how much money I made in May. This is my monthly income report series where I share just how much I'm making with my several different websites. Now May hasn't really been the best of months sadly. I saw a slight decrease in income and traffic actually went up by a little bit for my main website but overall I was hoping for a bit better result. Still May itself was pretty uneventful, again just very minor changes. I'm not really used to seeing so little happening in terms of money and traffic. The one thing that did happen in May is there was a lot of volatility in the SERPs. Many SERP trackers, they showed that there was volatility going on and I personally saw a lot of my traffic and rankings uh, switch up and I heard a lot of stories of people seeing drops as well. Now, if you saw my last video, you know that I actually got hit negatively and I saw a very minor 15% decrease in traffic. But a 15% decrease is still a decrease and it's definitely not really welcome at this time. So in this video, we'll be going over my five main websites. So I have one English beauty site. This is my main website and it makes about 90 to 95% of all the money. This is really the big one. And I also have a Dutch version of this English beauty site. And I also have a Dutch boating site. And along with that, I have two relatively young and new English sites, one in the accessory niche and one in the consumption niche. So without further ado, let's jump into the computer and see just how much I made. So as always, we are going to start off with my English beauty site. Since this is my main website and most of the stuff happening is revolving around this website, it seems natural that this is the first one to discuss. So as for page views, my website, my English beauty website, did a total of 43,102 page views this month. This is actually up from last month, which did only 42,800 page views. And I really wasn't expecting this because, uh, as you know, I made a video where the uh, unannounced uh, May updates were hitting my website. I actually saw a very large or uh, substantial, at least substantial enough to make a difference, uh, decrease in traffic. So around halfway through May, I saw my traffic drop with about 15%. Yet my page views are still up. Now this could have to do with something new I'm trying out and I'm going to make a whole nother video on this and that's interlinking and I'm doing this with Link Whisper. And Link Whisper just makes it extremely easy to interlink in your website. And these interlinks, I'm pretty sure that they are the cause of my multiple more page views than, than usual, or at least more than I expected. Now in total, my goal for May was to publish a total of 20 articles on this website. Uh, my website was hit by the core update in December, and I had a gut feeling that it was because my ratio of informational articles versus uh, product articles was off. I had way too many product focused articles, so I really wanted to do a content push for informational articles. Now, my goal was to uh, publish 20 articles to this website, and I actually ended up with only 12. And these 12 articles were a total of 24,000 words, and this is actually a lot below the goal. And the main reason for this is that after the 15% hit, I just didn't really feel like working. It's been kind of tough to having to soldier through these six months where I'm just seeing a slow decline after seeing a steady two year uh, increase and rise in traffic. It's been very difficult and I was always hoping on a, in a, an update, either a core update or one of these unannounced updates to kind of revert back some of the traffic. And now that it didn't happen and I actually saw a, another negative impact, it really just worked so demotivating to me. And that's really the main cause why I wasn't publishing as much as I would have wanted or as I should have. Now currently I'm luckily finding my motivation again and I'm having a lot of fun with the interlinking strategies. And I'm doing a lot of stuff on the back end that isn't really revolving around writing. So I'm currently not writing myself, but my writers are writing uh, the articles for this website. Now for the interesting part, my income. So we always start with our ad income and my ad income for May of 2021 was a total of $826.63. This is with display ads from AdThrive, my uh, personal favorite ad company. And I'm actually pretty happy to see this because this is actually up from last month. So last month I was just under $795 and now over $825. So that's a, a pretty gradual increase. And I have a feeling that it has everything to do with the fact that I had just a little bit more page views this month. Now alongside uh, my display ads, I also have video ads and these video ads are amazing for any website. It's just a very small video and your uh, ad company will place a video or sorry, a video ad in front and behind your video. And these have extremely nice RPMs. So in uh, May of 2021, I made a total of $145.74 with my video ads. So that's on top of my 
uh, normal as income. Now we can compare these metrics with May of 2020 and May of 2020 is when my site really started to pick up. So from here, we will see a lot of large differences. So first of the page views in May of 2020, I had a total of nearly 130,000 page views. I'm currently sitting at 43,000. So that's uh, more than three times as little and that's pretty bad to see. In May of 2020, I also published 21 articles, which is one of the better months in that year. And I made a total of nearly $1,000 with ads. And my ad network at the time was Mediafine, another personal favorite, and AdThrive and Mediafine are really interchangeable. There really isn't a right or wrong, I think. But I made a total of $999.05 in May of 2020. So that's down, but not by that much actually, because uh, seeing that my pay shoes were three times as high and I only made uh, $100 more, a little over $100, it's, it doesn't really uh, match up. Then onto my Amazon income. My website is mainly monetized with Amazon affiliates and I do have a few very small and minor affiliate networks on the site as well but they don't really make up that much money. So for Amazon US, I made a total of $171.41. And this is actually down from last month. Last month I made $225 from Amazon. So we're actually down by a little over $50. And that actually really sucks to see because my page shoes were going up a little bit and my uh, affiliate income is dropping by quite a substantial amount. I also don't really have an explanation for it. Sometimes you just have a month where you're converting less or you're selling much uh, cheaper articles. There, there really isn't much of an explanation for it as of now. Alongside my Amazon US store, I also have an Amazon UK store, which used to do amazing numbers back in my uh, high page two days, but now it's making me a few extra dollars on the site. So this month I made a total of just under 15 pounds and that's up from uh, last month actually, but still it isn't really an impactful amount of money. Now I also have a Amazon uh, store in from Germany and this one is really just not doing anything. Again, zero dollars or zero euros and I'm not expecting anything more. Now I briefly mentioned that I also have another affiliate network on the site, which uh, last month actually did pretty well, just under $60. This month a little less, just $8.34. Again, I mentioned before, it's really just one of these things that makes a little bit of extra money on the side, but it, is, it isn't the main focus. So overall, my English beauty site made a total of $1,172.89. Now this is down. This is actually down from uh, not only April, but also down from March. So I'm kind of bummed out to see that. I was hoping for a slight increase, but Nothing I can do about it. I think it has everything to do with the low Amazon uh, US income, which uh, dropped by a very substantial amount. All the other incomes are basically up from last month. But that's it for the English beauty side. So let's now move on to the other four sites. So moving on, let's first talk about my Dutch beauty site, which is basically the Dutch version of my English beauty site. It's not exactly translated, but it is sort of rewritten to be uh, more fitting in Dutch. So this is one of my smaller websites. I started in June of 2020 and it was really just a case study to see if a Dutch website would be making money. So ever since I started this website, this hasn't really done much. Uh, I never really broke the 5,000 page views a month mark and neither did uh, this month. I had a total of uh, just under 2,700 page views, which is actually, I believe, an all-time high for this website. And I'm happy with it. I, it's making me some extra money on the side, but it's not really the main focus anymore. So this website is monetized with Zoic and I made a total of $26.06. Now that's all I made with this website. I don't really have any other affiliate networks on here and it's mainly just Zoic ads for now. And also I don't really plan on growing this site out that much anymore. I think the focus really will be on English websites that just have a much broader audience. But yeah, uh, just under $30 with this one website, I'm never really touching. I I'm happy with it. I I'm not going to, to quit this website. I'm not going to sell it off. I'm not going to stop it. Um, it's just going to be there. And every once in a while, I will probably publish another article on here. Secondly, I also have a Dutch boating website. And this is my uh, Dutch website. I started in January of 2020. So it's a bit older than the uh, Dutch beauty site. And this one is doing, uh, is pulling in some higher numbers. So of course, boating is extremely seasonal and we are just approaching summer here in the Netherlands and it's, the weather is really starting to, uh, to become very warm and nice and we're not really used to that here in the Netherlands. So of course, people are starting to go to the waters and they are going to their boats. And you can really see this back in the traffic because there are a few days where 
there's just an insane spike in traffic all of a sudden. And when you just look back at that day, it's very apparent that we had nice weather that day. There was also one day in May where we had a very warm uh, midday and then a storm afterwards. And one of the articles on the site was about uh, sailing with a thunderstorm. If it's safe and if you should do it and what you should do if you find yourself in a thunderstorm. And that article really didn't brought in any traffic at all. And suddenly that one day it just spiked up almost 300 uh, page views, I believe, on that one article, which is insane for this website. It's just really fun to see the seasonality impact the uh, Google Analytics. So in total, this website put in a total of 7,663 page views. And this really isn't that much, but I'm hoping to see this grow. And August and September from last year were our best months uh, with this website. So I'm hoping to cross the 10 or maybe 15,000 page views in those months. This website is also only monetized with Zoic. There is a, uh, another affiliate program on here, but it didn't actually make any money this month, uh, surprisingly. But with Zoic, we pulled in a total of $37.68, which is a new personal high for this website. Now these two Dutch websites I mentioned before, these really are not the main focus. These were just case studies and they don't really get that much attention. I, I published zero articles on these, both of these websites in this month and I don't think that the coming months will, uh, they will receive any articles either. The focus right now is really on building out my English beauty site, getting it back up to speed, back to at least a portion of the traffic at what it used to be at. And from there, my focus is really just going to be on making new and profitable English websites. Speaking of new and profitable English websites, let's take a look at my two uh, recent projects. The English accessory niche, which I started in December of 2020, right off the core update. This is the website I started when I really just uh, needed to diversify. I needed to do something else. So I started this website and I, sadly, I don't really give it that much attention anymore. Uh, probably because the last two months and probably the coming months as well are really just all in focus on the uh, English beauty site. So I added a total of zero articles and it only uh, brought in a total of 73 page views. Now 73 page views is not much. There is a total of 40 articles on there I believe and I was hoping to see a little bit higher numbers because this just really isn't much for a website that was started in December. But I'm really hoping to give this website a lot more attention in the coming few months. This is one of the websites I was planning on building out into something extremely large. Uh, think something around 1000 articles or even more. And this was really going to be one of the staples in my portfolio. Now onto my last website. This is the English consumption site. And I started this one in, I believe, September of 2020. And right now I'm actually seeing some movement. So whereas this website used to not really bring in any page views, always under 1000, I finally crossed the 1000 page views a month mark with the site. So I actually got a total of 1513 page views, which is the new all time high. And it's actually double from last month. So I'm, this one is really just starting to get out of the sandbox and a lot of uh, attention will be poured into this website in the coming few months. I also added one more article to this website for a total of just under 2200 words. And this is actually the only website aside from the English Beauty site that receives an article this month. Uh, both my English accessory and consumption website are not monetized yet. The page views are just too low. But with my English consumption site, and I'm seeing it growing right now, I wouldn't be surprised if I signed up to Ezoic in the coming, maybe next month or the month after that. So when we take all these incomes and put them together, this month I had a total of $1,236.63. This is actually down uh, just slightly from last month. Uh, my main English beauty site actually went down by a, a bit and the other websites, they actually started to gain some traction. So these are kind of making up for the loss on my English beauty site. So that's the income of all my websites together. But what now? What am I going to do the coming few months? Well, the plan right now is to really focus on my English beauty site. So currently I'm really starting to interlink a lot with uh, Link Whisper, an amazing plugin. And I'm really going through all of my top 100 articles and improving grammar. I'm doing this with Grammarly Pro and I'm taking these two things and to try to just improve the overall content on the website. I also have a feeling that updating and improving a, a lot of the older articles will send uh, positive signals to Google that this site is actually living and that there's life in the site. And I just hope that these small things and these small tweaks, that they will actually push me over the line to receive finally some positive impacts from an update. 
And speaking of updates, the coming few months are going to be very uh, nerve-wracking. There's a lot of talk about the big Core Web Vitals update and it's, it was supposed to happen in May, but it's been postponed. So anywhere from June, July, maybe August, this uh, update could happen. And in some weird way, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully I'm seeing a rollback in traffic, but in another way, I'm just really scared of it. Maybe it breaks down my site even more than it already is. But only time will tell and for me there's nothing to do except for improving the old content, adding new information articles and just improving the overall website. Now this focus on the English beauty site does take away a lot of the attention I would have wanted to pour into my other websites. So sadly uh, both of my English websites, the consumption and accessory niche, they both didn't really receive any new articles or updates, uh, one among the two of them. And it's just not really the attention I would have wanted to pour into them. And when you pair that with my lack of motivation because uh, I was kind of down from another hit by the update, I'm really not meeting the goals I was setting for myself. So I'm trying to rectify this by working a lot harder this month. And although I might not publish an extreme amount of articles, I know that I will be doing a lot of work with the Grammarly uh, tweaks and the Link Whisper interlinking. But yeah, well, with that being said, this was my May 2021 income report. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.